All right, Jason. Jobs in the beer business are mostly held by men. Yes, but on this International Women's Day, the new president of Atwater Brewery wants to help change that. Christy McDonald live for us at Atwater in Detroit tonight with that story. Christy. <laughs> So this tank right here actually holds all of our grain. There's 50,000 pounds worth of grain in there. Atwater Brewery President Katie McBrady's path to beer was an unexpected one. I thought I was going to be a lawyer and then I ended up passing out Bud Light beads and now I run like the largest brewery in Detroit. So. You know, life comes at you. Katie grew up downriver, went to Central Michigan University, and got into the beverage business, hawking Bud Light in bars. Passing out stickers and talking to folks about Bud Light Lime, um, right? In shorts, the whole thing. One of the gentlemen who worked for the distributor noticed that I was pretty good at getting people to buy Bud Light Limes, of all things and asked me if I wanted to interview for a sales job. And that launched a career in the beer business to becoming a certified Cicerone, like a sommelier only for beer, to moving to California and running a craft beer label. When I think about the way that um, I worked with Angel City in Los Angeles, you really did feel like this is Los Angeles's beer. And when I looked at the opportunity with Atwater, if we fast forward, I was like, well, this is a no-brainer. I, I love Detroit. I'm from Detroit. This is Detroit's beer, and I want when people are drinking an Atwater to have that moment of like, hey, this is like my city, my brand. What about craft beer? So craft beer is super cool, um, right? And it's not just because beer's fun. The thing I like about craft beer is the way it brings the community together, right? Um, having a beer is such a communal thing. We don't often think of women in the beer business. No. It feels like it's a, it's a male-dominated field, right? It is a male-dominated field, so less than 2% of beverage executives are women. You're a 35-year-old president of a brewery um, and, and a woman. Are you underestimated, do you think, when you sometimes walk into a room, or do they look beyond you and say, where's the president of Atwater? So that does happen sometimes, um, but I think if I spent too much time thinking about that, I'd never get anything done, right? Like, so I don't think you can spend too much time worrying about, you know, what that perception is. I think the best thing for me is to be super focused on what it is that we're doing. And she's focused at Atwater, president for just under a year. She's spearheading a bar renovation, expanding the brand, and passionate about opening more doors for women in the beer business. Which is why the Atwater man is now an Atwater lady for International Women's Day. So today we're drinking our Pink Boots brews. There's a special brew on tap with hops from the Pink Boots Society, which is a nonprofit supporting women in the alcohol business. We'll also be sending the beer to select women-owned bars and restaurants, and a proceed from every pint sold will go back to supporting the Pink Boots Society. Those scholarships will expand diversity in the brewing ranks, something Katie looks forward to. It just gives us like a better representation of, you know, what's going on out there in the brewing world. So Atwater is also giving a $50,000 scholarship to Michigan State University to get more people involved in brewing. And uh, the Pink Gang IPA is already flowing, so cheers to International Women's Day, ladies. Cheers. Cheers to everyone from Atwater reporting live here in Detroit. I'm Kristen McDonald. Back to you guys.